dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this new Fireside Chat and this time on the topic of Metaverse. I'm very happy to have uh, here with us today Shora Shirzad and he's the founder of Mapstar. Welcome Shora. Hi Francesco, thank you very much, nice to be here. Very good, sure. And uh, thank you for being here. Why don't you introduce yourself? I just mentioned your name and your role. I assume there is much more that you can share with us. Yeah, my name is Shora and I'm the founder of Mapstar. Actually, we are working on changing the world positive by bringing digital content precise and persistently into the real world. My background is actually industrial engineering. So, yeah. Great. So what, one further point, maybe on Mapsa, you mentioned you have mentioned to bring digital content into the real world. What does it mean? What what what, what is it about? So actually, the, the main part of augmented reality is bringing digital content into the real world. But augmented reality uh, is not uh, enough, actually, to to uh, bring the digital content into the real world. So you need the geometric data of the environment. Otherwise, you are not able uh, to to bring that on long term digital content on on every edge and corner of the real world. Very good. And uh, maybe uh, to 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 add to that, how do you differentiate uh, among the other companies involved into this? What is your USP? So actually, it is a, <laughs> it is the, the part of the spatial computing because uh, by having this kind of geometric data of the environment, we are able uh, actually to give a device uh, an eye actually that that he can remember where he at and and therefore uh, this solution is helping us uh, um, that that content will stick on that uh, corner or edge which where you have placed it. So if I can uh, somehow bring all the points together, you are gathering the spatial data and uh, through the use of the spatial data, you help uh, uh, users to position information on content linked to the real world so that they can eventually yes. reuse, connect and interact on this. But what does it have to do with the metaverse? So actually, there are different kinds of type of metaverse but what we see actually is believing that one one location uh, could have different kind of digital layers actually and and what what our solution is offering is we are merging the real world with the digital world and and standing in front of a museum for example or going inside a museum you will get experiences which maybe could be created by the museum itself or users uh, create uh, such kind of uh, um, tour guides, XR tour guides, which you can jump on and, and have uh, feeling these experiences which was created. But if I remember correctly, the, the, the also given the, the, the past history of, of, of these kind of solutions, the possibility to place content into the real world, something that is existing since years. Also, if you yeah. <laughs> back to Pokemon Go, for instance, and, and actually what, 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 the, what the company be behind it made it in the past, it was a great success also for them. So yeah. what is the difference now? How do you are making this different right now? So what we are doing different is actually that we bring it really to the centimeter, your content. Uh, what we have experienced from other company is that uh, they bring also digital content uh, relative into the real world. That means uh, if they're placing somewhere and then it could be 100, 200 meter uh, away from the initial point. And uh, this is what makes Mapstar actually really, really uh, uh, differentiated from, from other companies. And it, it, now, if you know in this, uh, you, you, you can uh, create all use cases that we have seen in the past with augmented reality, you can create with Mapstar. And while we are talking about metaverse, if this could be defined by augmented reality already, so to say. What is the link between augmented reality and the metaverse and eventually also the role that Mapster is, is, is playing into it? So actually is that, that thinking about, as, as I said in, in the previous uh, sentence, if you're thinking about one location, for example, this museum, uh, having such kind of layers on, on the same location, uh, offers you a lot of information on one point uh, on, on the real world coordinates. And 
this is the this is the uh, main thing that now you can experience on the same location on endless use cases or experiences, right? Because people uh, visiting places, uh, for example, a museum in, in Louvre, Paris, uh, everyone has its own uh, uh, um, uh, recognition of the environment and have it, its own thoughts about the arts, for example, and have its own opinion. And if you're creating this kind of layers on one location, uh, um, this is the this is the any experiences that you can uh, experience on one location. And that's why, because you, you have one location, but several kind of experiences on top of it, and you can load them actually and be in a different kind of environment. Uh, this makes the metaverse actually. But if I understand this correctly, then uh, this is all linked to one location. Is there also yep. the possibility to make this independent on the location? So what if uh, none of us is in the location and we still want to interact with these digital layers? Is there any possibility to any possibilities to, to have this also eventually with the help of Mapstar? Definitely, yes. If, you, if you're if looking at Mapstar, we are offering tools, uh, for example, our web editor, where you can really, from the distance, you can change the environment that you have mapped uh, in a much uh, comfort uh, way, then you can do it on your mobile device. This is the one way. The other way is actually diving into your experience that you have made and, and edit them actually from a far distance you could be on the other world uh, side and 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 editing your your map uh, which you have created on 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 in paris uh, at, at the louvre for example furthermore you can also invite your best friends family or colleagues and and talk them um, talking about the environment well, one quick question on that you, you talk about mapping the environment does that mean that with mapster i cannot only bring information into a specific location that it's physically there like augmented reality but i can also map the environment and create my own environment on which to play yes actually you will using the real world as your playground for your digital data um and this is what what mapster is offering um in the future, people want to see contextual information around them. And one way could be actually that you have this kind of spatial data. We have seen this. Uh, this is nothing really new. We have seen this with, for example, with Google or Apple, which uh, uh, was uh, outside in the world and mapped the real world with a 360 degree camera and actually on basis on that data, they have built Google Maps. They have built uh, uh, Apple uh, Maps, and 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 this gives you really new uh, uh, opportunities actually to to uh, stick information precisely and persistent into the real world. Good. So if I can think about this, uh, it's an opportunity for me to create my space, uh, interact and position information, but also link this information to actual sh spaces that are there. So if somebody else uh, would like actually to visit them or, or to or interact uh, there, there are these information placed there, not only on the on this map that I created, right? Yes. Thinking about the past, for example, uh, what we have experienced was uh, just taking a picture. Okay, of an environment. That was our memories in the past, right? Uh, thinking about only B2C uh, environment. Uh, we had this image, and if we would like to remember, we just look at it, right? And that's it. That was the experience finished. Yeah, more that was not usable. So for now, what you can do is actually you map instead of taking a picture, you map this environment in 3D, and then you you are more than able to dive into your memories to listen to the voices that you have placed there to invite your friends and family to get in this memories that you have experienced together so i think this is a new way a three dimensional way uh, uh, uh where well where the whole future will uh, change uh, uh, regarding this because it gives you more benefits yeah, I cannot at the moment putting an audio file into my image. It's not possible. Yeah, I can't. I can't really tell the world outside there what is 
the thing with this image. It's only an image. I can write some text. Yeah, I can. But I cannot anchor it in the real world where this picture was made. And I can't send this 3D or images. They can view it, but not dive in. And that's the difference. So very good. I'm, I'm starting to having a better picture, which means connecting the real world, generating this 3D view, and eventually give the possibility to interact, to get immersive uh, experiences into that. Exactly. Is this the metaverse that you're talking about? It seems like this is already reality. And when I hear about talking about the metaverse, people start to say, there's much more, there's uh, something in 10 years that we're going to happen. What is the metaverse then from, from your point of view? Actually, it's a virtual or physical world environment and uh, in which you can interact with content uh, or people around you, which you have invited, actually. For example, this uh, image uh, example that I have bring. Or uh, furthermore, you can monetize uh, your experiences. And, and that's a fully new way where you can actually make of your experience and knowledge uh, really a benefit of it. Uh, by by selling your your knowledge and experience into the real world on the marketplace, for example, yeah. In the future, I is this something that it's fully deployed? Is this something that is completely developed no. right now? <laughs> Not at the moment, but a lot of companies uh, are working on this kind of uh, whole infrastructure. Um, I think it will take uh, from our perspective it will take uh, three years then we are there actually um, but uh, I believe strong in 230 um, that all traditional systems uh, will not be uh, used anymore um, because as I said it is important to get contextual information thinking about the service technical guy uh, he don't need the information on his desk in his office. No, he needs this information directly at the component of the machine, a wind turbine, or whatever. Very good. And, and think about this. Uh, you have mentioned three years for additional potential to be seen in the market. You're talking about your solution that is already available now. Yes. Uh, so, but why are we talking then about this uh, buzz about the metaverse why is it important to discuss about this what, what has changed over the last years and why this is think, so relevant for the future yeah, there? I, I i i believe strong that uh, the the next infrastructure um will help uh, a lot of companies moving more to the b2c uh, uh, but also the, the, the backwards, the B2C comes more uh, to, to the companies. And I think uh, offering such kind of solution like the metaverse will really bring uh, people together who have the same interest and uh, uh, would like to build the same uh, uh, products. And, and, and they will, I think they will happen a new dynamically uh, uh, um, situation and, and process um, for for all the uh, uh, um, industries and and users uh, especially um i definitely believe that people needs to to test and and find out what could be the strategy uh, for a company inside the metaverse what would they like to achieve in the metaverse this is a uh, really essential questions um that that i as a ceo has has to clarify for myself if 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 not, it could be late actually, and we have seen this uh, in 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 many kind of uh, industries. For example, uh, in the cell phone industry, uh, people was not believing that uh, Nokia could could fall, and actually uh, it happens, right? Because they they miss the time and the opportunity to jump on a train, um, and this could be a really a bad situation for one or more companies in the world. So maybe to, 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 to connect the dots about what you mentioned, the metaverse is for companies an opportunity to be more connected to the users, more connected to the customers, to the end customers, and eventually yep. allowing them to co-create, co-develop, interact in a new environment, maybe, if I can yep. uh, use this, 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 uh, this, uh, this definition. And uh, it, it, there is the necessity to be ready now and start doing this. But how... Could one do that? So actually, just in, in our case, just 
download the application, tested it out. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be uh, taking this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, to, 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 to test it out, it is important at this stage uh, to get a better understanding what it is, how what you can do with it, and where are the benefits for myself and my company. And, and this is actually in every kind of investments that companies are doing, this is their pre-analysis right um but you definitely need to understand the metaverse not in the full and not in the detail of technical technical stuff but uh, uh it's important to to get in touch with it and and try to find a strategy for the future uh how to positioning in in the metaverse and actually a lot of people stand up uh and and, and talk about the metaverse uh, I suggest by uh, doing your analysis to check out if uh, this kind of metaverses is already provide a solution uh, regarding spatial computing. So maybe uh, diving a little bit deeper in, in into these uh, topics and uh, talking about uh, something that has been always connected to the metaverse uh, and especially the kind of uh, uses or, or the kind of products out of it or the products for it. Um, I mean, we've been hearing a lot of uh, uh, discussions going around NFTs, non-fungible tokens, and uh, their, their their potential, and eventually also their up and downs uh, in, in the market evaluation. Um, how these things are connected to the metaverse? Because you are talking about interaction, you're talking about uh, uh, the way to develop things together, you're talking about the connection even to the real world. What is the role then of uh, uh, of these kind of non fungible tokens or the likes? Yeah, actually, what uh, the blockchain in this case, especially the non fungible token, offers you is that you are able to freeze uh, such kind of uh, work experiences that you have created, uh, or you can uh, you uh, by creating a non non fungible token. Uh, you you will get also the owner uh, uh, um, ship of of the of the product that you have freeze, and uh, thinking thinking more in the future, this could be also the initial point for a patent. Actually, why? Because it's official. You have created it, and it's already in the blockchain, and nobody can tell uh, why because you have a timestamp. You can say, hey. This is my work, and you can see it on the in, inside the blockchain. Thinking about only from the perspective of a company, uh, but uh, thinking about uh, the, the the user in, in, in B two C, uh, you you are able actually that the tr trading with your own data uh, and and make money of it uh, to to uh, nearly hundred uh, percent of of the uh, um, ownership. So I'm trying to recap because there, there have been many concepts that have been discussed <laughs> right now. So uh, the, the metaverse yeah. is uh, this new places where this new place where these interaction can be done in a different way, can be done completely virtual. It can yeah. be done uh, connected to the real the world. Real world. And, exactly. Uh, with the use of these NFTs, uh, we have the possibility to. Um, actually uh, uh, generate ownership and also to make this visible and unique to others what, what we have been created and eventually share or, or, or use for this interaction. Now, Furthermore, you can make money off it. Yeah, uh, why that's the finally not? point. <laughs> why not? Why not? So, <laughs> and the role of Mapstar into this is to be an infrastructure provider, I would say. So we are offering this kind of uh, 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 solution, the whole uh, pipeline uh, in the future. And uh, actually, it, it is the infrastructure that we are offering as Mapstar. Very good. So maybe the last couple of questions that I would like to, to, to ask you, uh, uh, Shora, before we conclude this, are more a little bit personal, linked eventually to mm -hmm. all the discussions that we had, also to understand your profile. Um, given that we have been talking about the metaverse and the metaverse was a kind of a science fiction uh, um, until maybe months or even years ago, uh, uh, do you play any sort of games like eventually Fortnite that are linked to this new uh, to, to this new experience? <laughs> 
actually i'm 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 a really a gamer since uh, day one of the playstation one uh i started with with gaming at that stage it's a long time ago uh today or now i'm already also playing su such games like fortnite or a different kind of uh, solution on 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 my ps4 uh, waiting for PS5, actually, <laughs> but yes, I love gaming, yes. So maybe, maybe very quick questions now and get the interest into that. We talked about NFTs. Do you own any board ape? Uh, not really, but I have a different kind of NFTs. Okay, cool. So kitties? Not, no, no not really. <laughs> kitties. Uh, it seems like you have an affinity with the digital world. It's better for you to have a virtual beer or a virtual coffee or a cold beer? I would say virtual coffee is uh, totally fine for me. Interesting. Very good, Shora. Thank you very much for the time that you have given us. Thank you very much for the interesting discussion. And to all the viewers, I would like to thank you also for your attention and invite you to continue following us for the next interview. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.